we're always free to choose. Oh, that's Joey's apartment. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, yeah. when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, Two. your past will come. To devour you. I like the new loading icon. That was one hell of an intro. June 18th, 1973. There's Audrey. The camera pan motion's a bit fast for me, but I guess it gives some sense of life. I like how she, excited she is. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Just need a stand. Time for a little adventure. Oh no. Locate the elevator. Play the month. That's the That's the frame that was up in Joey's apartment at the the very beginning or the very end of Benny and the Ink Machine. So it alludes to Audrey being the daughter of Henry, maybe? Because Audrey was... Uh, there was a little girl that asked Uncle Joey for another story. So, maybe this is her? Wow, reflections and everything. Cool. Oh, and she actually looks the direction. That's, that's awesome. So well done. There's so much to uncover here. I'm gonna search this first. Uh, nothing. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, there's your quest marker. Animation. How to animate. <laughs> Just eat cold drinks. Cola, seven new spritz, tea, and whatever that is. Cans of ink. Light went out. Wait, are her hands already? Oh, don't look down. <laughs> Wait, boobs! Oh lord. Alice. The light went out. Is that ink on the wall or is that just dirty? Uh oh. Ah. The bullshit begins. Something must have been. Gate Studios. I can't read all that, but I'm sure somebody will freeze frame it and read it. Is that Piper? Or is that someone else? James. Oh. That got me. Really? They locked me in? Good thing I brought my own key today. Oh, no. So, retrieve your office keys. Uh, I have to go back. Hi. Who put this here? That's, that's a reference to the uh, original one. That's great. Lovely. Got any spoopies? Nothing, nothing spoopy coming out? I don't know. Does it say the keys are? On her 
third desk. Okay, there, there. That was a little hard to see. Here's the key. And now it's gone. No asking where did it go. That doesn't sound good. Oh, Not hi. the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Uh, the mop bucket moved on its own. Is the janitor over there? Zara Wilson? Hello? Is someone there? It's Wilson, isn't it? Scooting his bucket around. Oh, it looks like ink. from work? Yes. There you are, Wilson. Wilson? Oh, he does... You scared me His other eye is dark in the preview. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you all right, shouldn't creep. be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I... Step in. Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. Get creep. <coughs> this guy's awful. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. So are we supposed to hate this guy? What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. So he just leads us here instead of taking Let's us to- Let's see what we can find. Come along now. <sighs> Old Wilson will protect you. Old Wilson. No, you're gonna fuck me up, dude. What if I stay in here, huh? Hate Wilson already? Same. Do I have to approach him? I really don't want to. He's just hitting the same three spots. Oh, fuck. Ah. ah. There we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Yeah, you go first. I don't want you walking behind me, asshole. The way you comment on a woman's appearance matters. And you're a fucking creep. There's the old ink machine. All right. 
Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. Uh, looks there like you're should a be something dish. on each of these pedestals. Oh no. Fetch Audrey. quest. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Search for the exhibits. An inkwell. Oh, is this... No. Really? Wrench. So this is this literally the same as... the previous game. This is literally the first mission. All right, I need to find an inkwell, a record. Do I have to do it one at a time? A gear. There's the inkwell. Is it all in this section? Gearbox? Uh, I need a plush. There's a plush. Hey, buddy. That's a nice looking plush. What else do I need? Oh, and a book. Where would I find the. Uh, Illusion of Living book. A bit further back. Oh, there you are. Stroll down memory lane. It's creepy. Don't approach me like that. Asshole. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Oh, you're not gonna say the famous line. It is done. Oh. Wilson? Oh, Audrey, the things you've set in motion. What's happening? But well, he tricked us into doing this. calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. To these last words, because very soon you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. No thanks. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now. What are you doing? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that guy's a fucking creep.
Nice intro, though. It was a great stroll down memory lane. So, escape the studio. Nice. So, if I have the timeline of stuff correct. The studio went under in the 20s? In the mid mid 20s or 40s I know super horror bro covered kind of the timeline of what happened so the studio goes under 30 years later Henry shows up to and starts that loop but this is 10 years after Ish, ten years ish after the collapse of Joey Drew Studios. I, I'll I'll get the timeline right here soon. Oh no! So we busted out of this pipe. Your way up. I don't want to go into the ink. Can I just go? I can jump. That's good news. I can't sprint. Is there a crouch? No, there's no crouch. You can't go into the ink. Okay. Read. Every great story begins in a mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. Memos are stored in the pause menu. Ah. I need to find a couple of things. To Grant Cohen Accounting. Please inform Mr. Drew that despite his intense... Despite his insistence... That the rumors of Joey Drew Studios are going bankrupt are untrue. I want to remind him that the studio does. In I'm going to reread this because, God, I'm tired. Uh, please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumors of Joey Drew Studios going bankrupt are untrue, I want to remind him that if his studio does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments produced through the, our partnership, Mike. By contract, belong to the Gent Corporation. We will reclaim these assets forcibly if necessary. Alan Gray, CEO. Okay, I need to find two ladder rungs. Hey, they're there. at the top? Nope. Alright. Where 
we're not able to see who's making that. Geez, you'd think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons in this place used to make. Oh well, times change, life moves on. Telly Wester? That's a new one. C to crouch. Okay, so you can crouch. Attention, children of the machine. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Ah, so it begins. Oh, that's her hand. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us, considering the current situation. We have been with you for many years, and we feel we have contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely keeping us, this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy Lawrence. Hi, Bendy. More lockers. Gent parts. Do I need to collect gent parts? There's a Bendy icon over there. I guess I'm gonna slide down this. The ink drips, darkness spread through the studio. Reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You'll feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. So is, is it going to have me run back down this towards the uh, lockers? Oh, it is. I'm backed up in anticipation.
left shift to run. Ah, now I can run. Might have to run away. Oh, that's not nice. Hi. Nope. There's Heavenly Toys. It says, please check out the pause menu. Ah, okay. Objective, escape the studio, find a way out. So this is all the notes that we've gotten. This is all the tapes that we've gotten. Okay. Cool. That's a great pause menu. There's no... I really like this. So this is very different from the last Heavenly Toys we went to. And there is a, a thing to hide in here. That side's blocked off. Oh no, there's a sprint meter now? You can't just endlessly sprint? Pulling it again? Nope. There is a sprint meter. Well, crap. Hi, hi. them nice. I don't want to exit. Low on health? Grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations when you're low on health. You will need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes throughout the, the studio. Find some food. Bacon soup. Wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. Allison. It helps patch you up, but the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The lighting's the a little bit off. The could have now. turned you into a searcher. You mean that... That thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. Love the animation. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good sure. luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. And she's gone. 
Okay. Well. Can't, still can't switch that. You can go with this. But it seems so far that the game's very linear. Whoa. That whipped around real quick. Did I just fall off? Was that a bug? Okay. I hear something thumping away. Over here. It stares down. Oh. Oh, there's a sprint menu for foraging for things. Nothing worth it, honey. That's probably... That would be a good location for a Wandering's a Terrible Sin. What's you? Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place you don't know It's there. If you attack problem head-on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. Close the door. Nothing worth in there. Oh no. Nothing to say about it. Character model really good though. Oh hi. Where is the toy man? goes up. There's a lot of climbing mechanics. Oh, look at sandwich. He sees everything. Oh. That's creepy. It seems that Archgate Studios in all its misplaced admiration was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that 
I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates. <laughs> it smashed open, and Dude. inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. Damn. <laughs> okay, that... That legitimately scared me and then surprised me open it and says turn around you turn around and it's you're listening to that and you turn back around and Wilson knows that was cool to so the original Benny and the Ink Machine every time they did an update they would say they added more quote secrets oh broken stuff is now three dimensional <laughs> hey Fisher hi Fisher I apparently need to go down there. Locker access. Factory access closed. Fisher just closed that and I just forced it open. Those fish are going to be waiting at the top of those chairs for me. Hi. Who are you? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Permanent upgrades. Permanently upgrade your health, stamina, and something else. Search more hidden un hidden unstable ink. Why would ink need to be stable or unstable? That's weird. Let's do health. Key. The Wally's keys? It looks like the model for original Wally's keys. I don't need to eat right now. That's why. Any coins? Did slugs? It's trying to introduce me to all the game items and mechanics. The bendy plushes. There goes Fisher. Wash and keep closed. Unlock? Ah, uh, that's what the keys are for. Slide down there. it does. Oh, it was just a closed hatch. Ew. Okay, well, shit's about to get real, yo. die here then. Hello. 
That's similar to the things by Joey Drew's office. Studio tour. The Devil Lounge. Play Lounge Animation Park. Sure. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew. And you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Bens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow down, my friends. I can't break the game by jumping on stuff. Okay. 15 cents for coffee and donut. Uh, go this way. Locked. Hey, buddy. That feels like the way forward. At least you can run pretty far. I hear some thump lumping. Let's check out the rest of this little devil lounge because we saw this in the intro. I don't need food right now. There's a place to hide. Nice. Lights. Something in there. Oh, that's this room here. I need to find a way in there. I guess I have to go forward to do that. Main studio. Locked. Apparently I need to go through that gate. Explore over here. Safe and sound. I don't know what that's for. Oh. Looks like he's having a bad day. Demon follower. That's the scene that we saw in the trailer as well. Atrium supply is locked. Guessing I need to find my way in there. Which is through this locked door. Lovely. It's ready. Action. Cool kit bag. Back to me. So much stuff. I don't know what that glowing ink is for. Giving us obvious stuff. Oh, you can hide in there too. Do I need to hide? Question. A little miracle station here. You can hide. Alright. Locked again? This and is. And broken key. Break the lock. With what? Audrey, it's Alice. Can you hear me? Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm 
I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. There could have been a little bit of time between finishing the call and getting attacked. has come up with a new way to reward employees instead of paying out bonuses or overtime. They've started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake coins that fool the vending machines or started to call them fake ones slugs. Now, I can't even remember the last time I even seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money. Snacks alone. Oh yeah, they're, they're fucking everywhere. Hey buddy. Ooh, you are stitched together. Like the one from the original Vinny the Machine. At the very beginning intro area picture showed a stitch together bendy instead of a whole one. Oh, you can hide in here. Nice. Guessing with a gent pipe I could break walls. Where the hell am I supposed to find a pipe? just me crawling. I thought that... I thought that was something else. So, health. at the same time. Would I find a jet pipe then? Dream supply? Oh, food.
office once. That Nathan Arch. Oh. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. <laughs> We're powered at atrium supply. But that was a regular worker, not a ID. Okay. Way to avoid troubles, not be seen. Remain crouched, stay low, and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully. They may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away fast. Is he just going to stay there? Okay. <laughs> Missing a fuse. Seriously. Let's see if I can find one. See, it's in the next room. We're not alone down here. This way. Coming out here.
Go away. Yep. I need to pee again. I'll be right back. Yeah, I like how the objectives are there everything's backwards. So escape the studio is literally the last thing you do in the game. The next thing I need to do is break the lock. But I also need to find a jet pipe to break the lock. I have to find a fuse to get the jet pipe to break the lock. It's all fucking backwards. Okay, what the hell happened that I got attacked? this guy. Is he going to idle somewhere? Where did everyone go? Why don't they answer? I tried to tell them he was up to something. I tried to tell them. Oh, I didn't know I could hide in here. What is he making another loop? in here. Oh, he does. Does he not see me just sitting in a fucking box? What's today's special? It's on the board outside of the thing.
I wonder what the effect is if I die. Find out. Next person. I'm gonna. Yep. Ah, those are respawn points. Lovely. And you start with half health. There's something else roaming around him. spot there. Okay, he's eating. I just need to be quiet. Take the thing. Well, happy birthday to me. Sneak in here. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Desperately need to find some food and not get eaten by something. I guess that whole keep moving thing is right. If you stand still too long, I think the game actually fucks with you. I 
does he go? I'm in desperate need of health, though. I appreciate the quest markers, but damn. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. But now he knows somebody's in here. circle back this way. I just need to wait for him to go across the other direction and then scoot on over to that door. Okay. So, we just turned on the atrium power. Now I need to get into the thing. I also need to eat something. out of the fucking ceiling? He does what the fuck? Oh no, now I have to wait for this guy to walk by. Oh, that pipe flips through his leg. Oh, really? I didn't even move. You go back in the thing? Get the gent pipe. Alright. Hopefully I can get into there without dude seeing me. <clears throat> oh, now it's lit up. Cool. Can I close it behind me? Either. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. <laughs> sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an Impact. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. Uh. So hit the posters. Got it. Okay, my health is now full. Back there later sometime. Playing with fire, no question about it. First, Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens up a place for tours to the general public. Are you really thinking this, though? Through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department <clears throat> is constantly flooded. And while I was giving a tour last week, I almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauding, thinking it was part of the show. I know Joey... 
is looking to drum up some cash lately, but this is, this is just asking for disaster to strike. One good accent, there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson Doyle. I have a lot of batteries. Which makes me think we're going to go into a dark place. Hi. Oh, is he going to see me in here? All right, let's do the obvious thing. Hey, bud. This looks like Allison's work. Demon follower. At least now I can defend myself. Weapon of many uses. Your all-in-one tool for surviving many dangers. The gem pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press, the at press to attack enemies and break objects. Ooh. That's cool. So now can I go kill Douchebag McGee over there? I'm gonna rip you alive! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, shit. He just booted into nothing. Oh, so he did see me. That's why he came in here. That's yeah, locked. It squeaked. <laughs> Was that this guy? Or was that just a random lost one? Oh my god! I'm pinned! Jesus Christ. some of the workers from down the hall last night talking about storming Joy Drew's office. They were using some colorful language, banging their fists on the tables and chairs. It was the same bunch who whistled at me yesterday. Things must be getting serious. That accountant, Grant Cohen, just walks from his desk down to the men's room and back all day, over and over again, gripping his stomach, kind of green in the gills. I can't tell if it's something he ate or is in agree with him, or if he just can't take the pressure anymore. Joey's got a plan, he keeps saying. Gent is making something special. I really hope he's right. I may just be a secretary, but this place has magic I don't want to see the end. Sally Newt. Food. More batteries. I'm guessing on easy mode it gives you a lot of stuff. Oh, I was trying to get in here earlier. That Wilson, he's everywhere. Yeah, he's nowhere. I don't know how he does it. It's madness. Madness! What if he's inside my mind? What if he hears my thoughts? Can you hear me now, Wilson? Can you? You won't get me. I've got a plan. If I tear out my brain, then you can't hear my mind. Ha! I'll show you. I'll defy you. All hail the ink demon. Hail, he's not dead, I tell you. He will rise again. This dark revenge will be terrible. Weird. So who... So we know for a fact that Wilson is able to keep the ink demon at bay somehow. Don't know how. We also know that rising up against him would probably either make the problem worse or end the cycle. It would change something. We don't know what yet. Is dude still over here? Where's he gone, and now people are after me? Look. 
food. You over here? Oh, it's a heart. I didn't see that earlier. Bang. Locked. Fully charged. Okay. I was wondering why I was getting randomly attacked before. It's because... Uh, Stryker could come down from the fucking ceiling here. In those buttholes. Okay, now I have to go unlock that thing. I have to go break that pipe. I've done a whole bunch of snooping. Now it's time to not snoop. Anyone want a piece of this fucking pipe? Bitch. Oh, I need to loot bodies, huh? Slugs. Battery. Oh, you can break those. Nice. Ah, okay. <clears throat> All right. Into the ink I go. Oh. So interacting with the ink too much pulls your brain in. Oh shit, searchers. Yes. Yes. Does the darker or the thicker ink do that? It like tries to pull your mind in and melt what congealed ink has turned into your body. <coughs> Excuse me. Really? You don't have to kill me. Ooh, I learned a new power. Ah, that's the shape of a searcher on her hand. Powers of the ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also restores a portion of your health. That's a cool effect. I like that. Out of or- Oh yeah, that's the old punch-in system that Henry... Was friggin' terrifying, yeah. That's the old punch-in system that Henry used to punch in at in the previous game, for saving. You had to find one of these save points. Now it says out of order because it has auto saves and a new save thing in here. Uh, save game. Yes. We also have a new thing. Dark knowledge. Unlocked abilities. Banish. Use your powers to send the monsters back to the dark puddles. Uh, we have the jet pipe, and then we have her, and we can get upgrades for her. 
these are all the things that we found for reading, and these are all the things that we found for audio. That's cool. I love that new menu. Ooh, I can trade for tasty treats. What's in here? Nothing. Now I can open those. Ah. Oh, had a lag spike that turned me around. Weird. Oh, I recognize this from the trailer. This is where uh, that one searcher that talks to you comes from. I forgot his name. That's one leap of faith I definitely won't make. Not unless there was a chain or something. Find a way across the abyss. I don't see any buttholes over it. So I do hear some kind of monster. There. Can I pull it back instead of forward? Can she see me through this? I would rather banish them. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Ah, that is terrible. I hear another one walking. Where did everyone go? Oh, I don't think it's her. We need to fix that. That... Let's talk about that for a second. If I'm already crouched and I come out of a hiding place, it should keep me crouched and out of view because I was previously in stealth. I didn't know I was there. There's no way they would have known that I had come out of stealth to get them. Alright, fine. It's whatever, man. Just gonna have to find health stuff and not die, basically. I know I have the game on easy, and I have it on easy for a reason. Because when a game first launches, it's, it's never properly balanced. Oh look, an upgrade station. I guess I'm gonna figure out what that's for. Card exchange? Cool. Great, one gent card. Sure. Those are meant for... Wait, what? What are gent cards meant for? Grants one-time access to safe and sound lockers. Oh, I'm gonna need a whole lot of those then, huh? Okay, that seems like forward. Writer's room. Studio tour? Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew. 
and our story begins quite literally in one of our many writers' rooms, just like this one. That's right. All your favorite Bendy cartoons are born right here. We circle up our chairs, crack open a cold drink, and toss around dozens of story possibilities. There's no bad ideas here. We've all got something we can bring to the scripts. I myself have been known to spend a lot of time down here with the fellas, tossing in my own brand of Joey Drew magic. It's my job to push the envelope with my big creative touches, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. You'll always hear endless laughter coming from the writer's room. When it's complete, the script finds its way to our many artists in the art department. You'll be seeing our real Joey Drew Studios team hard at work on our tour of Animation Alley very shortly. But right here, you can see a typical office where characters are being lovingly crafted with very careful attention to details. I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their magic. It's my job to catch the little things that make our cartoons really extra special. If I see one of Bendy's gloves is missing his signature two dots, I make sure I tell someone. That Joey Drew, they like to say, what a keen eye. Over time, the cartoon is slowly created frame by frame. Bendy begins to walk and dance. It's really quite fantastic. Before long, we have our finished cartoon, all ready for the boys in the sound department to take over. Ah, sorry, thank you. We're in the final days here, I can tell. People are packing things into boxes, tools are going missing, you can smell the panic in the air around the studio. 
us gent boys were just watching from the shadows. We lock the doors and we keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. We need to keep the ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. Oh. So Tom was part of the gent group and not part of the studio. Alright, I don't know how long my mic was off for, and that's probably going to affect the recording, so. Sorry. I don't know, I'm new here. Uh, my first day streaming. <gasps> Hi, friend! Hey, buddy! Visitors go away, don't knock. Wonder if that's Allison's room. Caution, maintenance, caution, keep closed. Can't go in there. You know what? I ain't gonna listen. Who's out there? Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Oh, no. Another fetch quest. Search Animation Alley for pictures. Back that way. for Animation Alley, then. Not here, obviously. Yeah, follow the lights. Once she's done opening this, I need to take care of something real quick. Hang on. Now let's go find some pictures. Pictures are the Suffering Camp Ham sandwich agony, mental curse of taxes. Whoops. The bus to work and extra cheese. I'm guessing I might have to fight stuff to get it too. More stuff that way. The power belongs to him. Okay. Well, <laughs> so don't don't fall. It the game didn't stop me from falling off of it. That's interesting. The 
usually the game will stop you from falling off of shit like that. There's a respawn over there. What, what even is the point of that room? Is this gonna be another jump scare? We're gonna get a bendy jump scare just like in the previous game, huh? Saw him. The ink speaks to me. It whispers your secrets. I saw him. I saw his shadow. He went in there. Who are you? Just an animator that's been tricked. I need to know who that voice actor is. Holy shit. That like fills your head. Oh. Hello, Ducky. Picked up a memory. Memories are stored in the pause menu. Duck. Still dusted with the decay of old soap. Many happy washings were companioned by this yellow friend. Okay. Weird. Can I get something out of here? Nothing. Okay, nothing else to see here. Yeah, that that ink demon voice has a wump to it. infinite. His evil is complete. Be alert for his approach and hide at the first warning. If you stay out the, in the open, you'll be consumed. Chapter 2. The Demon's Domain. Here's thump thumping. So is the heartbeat the... Heartbeat is the thing to listen to for. So if the heartbeat starts, you gotta get the fuck out of the way. What did a picture? Wait, so if I collect a picture, he's gonna come for me? Or is that thumping just in the ambience? Hard to tell. My ink swells It consumes. I am the ink demon. Uh -huh. This realm is mine. You were born from it. You. 
Yeah, huh? Sure. Looking for more pictures. Are they all just on animation desks? Hey, buddy. Stuck trying to clock in? I swear to God, I have no idea if that's actually him or not. I hate it. Great way to send me into a panic attack. Jeez. All right. Moving on. <laughs> anything else in here? Question. Anything for current exchange. There's a hide. Search. Nothing useful here. Door. being overly cautious, but kind of have to be. Wait, did I not find all of them? Uh, yeah, I still need to... I need to find more, okay. Okay, so I still need to find three more. And this is a loop, right? Or do I just go through this? Did I miss some? Oh, I just didn't go the other way. There's one right here. I don't know if that thumping actually means he's around. No 
no idea. Oh, this is legitimately terrifying. Did I need to go that way? I don't fucking know. Hi. Oh, that. That in the music didn't work out well, did it? So I might have to grab that one and hide there. Auto save. Just gonna wait for the sound to go. It's just E to exit. Okay, is that... You need to find extra cheese. He's around here somewhere. This way? This was all closed off, so I'm supposed to go this way. No idea where I'm supposed to be going. Seriously. That's not the way I'm supposed to go. Well, I have two more. Need one more. I need to get to this room. And the only thing in there, the only way to get there is from this vent right here. How do I get to that vent? I know, go through the vents, but damn. I don't understand. Okay, if there's a guide, someone tell me which way to go. Because I am now frustrated. Ah! 
to the room where the boar is cut out. Right there. This one. Kidding me. Okay. Thanks. That was dumb. That is a really terrible place to put it. Nobody's gonna look there. Yeah, you put a light inside there, but nobody's gonna fucking look there. You know, I have to get back to the beginning. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay. It detected that I had the last one. Oh. That loading lag. Oh, hey. Whoa! Dude, I brought your shit back. Jesus. You scared the shit out of me. Nobody wants to see my pictures. I've worked so hard on them for so long, and they're all my own original work. I'll have to make people look at them. They'll see how talented I am. But wait, what if someone looks at them and takes all my precious ideas? No, they can't do that. They're my original characters, mine. Do not steal, do not steal. <laughs> Feels like a commentary on the artist community in general. Are we back here now? Or is this some somewhere new? This looks somewhere new, never mind. Why I said back. Said hi, bitch. <laughs> when you believe you will succeed, unknown. Major Studios. Okay. Writer's room. Okay, what's search animation alley? Find a way across the abyss. Jesus Christ, so much stuff. You're standing in our world famous screening room. Consider yourselves lucky, because not everyone gets to see you here. This room is where we watch our in progress animations at the end of each day to see how they're coming along. We can watch a reel 50, maybe a hundred times, making pages and pages of notes for the animators to work on the very next day. They're always so excited to get our big changes. Inside the screening room, you'll see a door to the writer's hallway. That's where writers and
Okay. You can only watch the same dang cartoon so many times before you go crazy. I'm starting to forget what is what it was they wanted me to change. Good thing I take notes. And what's with them little numbers in the corner of the screen? Is that some kind of code? Better check with the storyboard. Bill Clark. One, two, three. Really? Oh. Also, it looks like you can get in here, so... from the B. Jesus Christ. Okay, that loading lag damn near killed me. Uh oh. Um. Broke the game again. <laughs> uh... Nope, it did not auto save anywhere near. Lovely. All right, well, I guess I get to do all that over again. <laughs> Okay. Fighters. Oh my god. So much stuff. Another safe and sound. When I first entered this world. Storyboard. We just the room we were you were just in had the word storyboard above it. Screening room storyboarding. There's nothing in here. Oh god damn it! I'm an idiot. Uh, pick, look, run from... Okay. Jesus Christ, I'm a goddamn idiot. Pick. Look. Run. Right? Pick. Pick no B, wide look, and... Lovely. Too bad you never get to see him during those. I want to see what he looks like. 
Now that I know this exists. Two, three, five. Uh, let's save real quick. <laughs> hey, Animation Alley. There are a number six, 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 six. No, there's not a number six. I'll be right back. I gotta go potty. Okay. Come say hello. Do I want to? She was the fourth. Maintenance. Yeah, we saw this in the trailer too. Is she gonna attack? Terrifying. Oh, and she's gone. That's the original design. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and that one's gone. Fuck. That's such good design, dude. Alright, into maintenance. Oh! Fucking jump scare? Meatly, you know better than do a fucking jump scare. God damn. Can you open, please? Nothing to do here. So I'm gonna get randomly jump scared by a fucking ghost that I set free. Lovely. Yep, I'm just gonna get fucking randomly goddamn jump scared. is only the beginning. Damn, Inky looking good? Yeah. Alright, load the last autosave, see where it drops us. The papers are signed. The animation staff is hired. Archgate Pictures is open for business. As of 9 o'clock this morning... Bendy and all his little cartoon friends now belong to me. 
I'll admit it's strange owning a dear friend's legacy. But I think Joy would be content knowing it's safely in my hands. You just gotta believe, he used to say. He was such a showman. Well, I believe, Joey. I wholeheartedly believe. Sure. Oh, that scared the pants off of me. That little fucking ghost girl is going to be the death of me. Okay, well, I know where the last hiding spot is. There's a Boris stuck in the ink. Is that a... a reference? To our... a baby boy Boris being... Consumed by Susie. Hi, how's it going? Well, hey there. <laughs> what? He fucking zooped. fucking anime flash step shit. Oh, well, I can't go back. Welcome to a point of no return. Pretty sure that you can even heard that one. Machine must endure. Sure. Shit again. Hey, buddy. Can, can we talk? Are you going to be helpful? What's the deal? Oh, hello there. Are you looking for the way out? A way out would be nice. Are you... Stuck in there? <laughs> well, yes, and I'm afraid that means, well, you're stuck too. Can't you move? Not an inch. Uh, perhaps you could get me unstuck? I'll see what I can do. He sounds like Winnie the Pooh. Like this guy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Put your hands up. It's more fun that way. Thank you very much for your help. Oh, hey. The name's Porter. We're back here. And who might you be? Audrey. 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 Nope. Don't like it. Doesn't suit you. I'll call you. <laughs> Bobby! Huh? And to say thanks for your feat of rescue, here's a little gift. Something I've learned. Can't unhear Winnie the Pooh now. Same. There we are. Ah. It's passed on. Now, you can move like me! You <laughs> flash step? It's a fucking flash step. Okay, how do yeah, I flash them? Use your power to flow quickly and undetected over a short distance. Flow is also handy for navigating areas that are hard to reach. Right mouse button, mouse button to flow. Power belongs to him. Okay, so I have... I have absorb, which is E, and flow, which is right mouse button. And... Ooh, I love the music. Okay, there's that. Have I been here? I have been here. Okay. 
So where am I supposed to go then? There's somewhere that I was previously unable to go. But I now need to go using Flash Step. It's, it's straight out of fucking Bleach. It's, it's Flash Step. I'm not going to stop calling it Flash Step. I will never call it flow. That is that is a hundred percent fucking flash step. If you're not a weeb like me and don't know what flash step is, then go look it up. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this goes right back to the that closed thing. Viewership doesn't pick up in the next half hour or so. I'm just going to call it a day and continue this on my usual stream days. That was kind of my caveat for streaming this during the day. This was a test. See if it was even viable to do. So... Is this somewhere I could flash step to and hide if there's a bendy around? I love that ink trail. So was there something... I'm guessing the way forward is through here somewhere. This is the last place we were. If flash step is something you use to get out of her way. Okay, use flow to cross the abyss. Oh, I have to get back to that original. Do I have to get back to that original area? God damn it. Where the hell was that? Not here. Was 
it? The chasm over... Is there a chasm over here? I can't remember. Oh, hi. Yeah, that one. Okay. We did all that just to get to the elevator up. There's a person in here now. Oh. A crawl. Employee lockers. I never checked this. Another one walking this way. Is it coming in here? No. So is this the next place we need to go? though. It's crazy. Check every lock. Well, every one that's available. Spawns point. Oh, there's a ape over here. Hang on. Oops. Something funny's going on around here. Call me suspicious if you wanna, but I know the signs of weirdness when I see them. Don't get me wrong, we've always had visitors around the studio, but lately we're just getting one kind of visitor in particular. Jet Corporation employees. Tons of them. They're working in the hallways, ripping up the floors, taking the best toilets. You can't even get near the Little Devil Lounge these days. It's starting to feel less like an animation studio around here, and more and more like some crazy scientist's laboratory. It's just plain weirdness. Donut! Oh, something loaded. Auto save. So many lockers. Ah. This makes me think there's going to be something chasing us through here. Lighting place? It is. So we get this bit of strangeness. That Thomas Connor guy from Gent, he's taken over the back area of the locker room. 
Guess I'll have to move my little office of cardboard boxes somewhere else. He gave me the code for the door in case I need to ever get in clean up. I wrote the code down, put it in my locker. The eighth locker over from the poster with the pretty lady on it. But I tell you, if that guy keeps causing trouble for me, I'm out of here. Wally Franks. Eighth locker over from the poster with the pretty lady on it. Ah, eighth locker over from Dina Dean's top shoe polish. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, fifteen. Saving. Go to the Gent Upgrade Station. Fully charged Gent Pop Pipe Required. So many parts. Get upgrades. Door access. Full access to all power gent security doors. Ah. Now charge it, which is this thing. Deposit battery. to secure places now granted when you when your gent pipe is charged you can spend its power on opening gent locks around the studio what's behind them only the bravest will seek them out for the rewards isn't that the door we just came in Yeah, that's the door we just came in. Okay, so can I recharge this again? After that door is opened, yes. Okay, now what? Float across the abyss. We did that. needed to run. They weren't. They were infinite. Let me guess you're gonna come back to life too, huh? Yep.
keepers see everything. Alright, I'm... Save. Here. Another illusion of living. I wonder if that's a secret. Hey, buddy. Here's a place for me to hide. Your journey will end as you are consumed into my dark kingdom. Now it sounds wet, dude. You will find meaning in your pain. Uh, artist rest exit surface elevator. Uh, yep, saw that guy. Welcome to Artist's Rest. This is chapter three. And oh, that is disturbing. Hey, bud. Apparently. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. So she's still a thing. Joey happened to notice last week just how long it takes for us employees to get home every night. When you add in the traffic and the waiting for the elevators, you practically only have a few hours before you have to wake up and come back. So Joey had them build our distress for us. Now we never have to leave work again, Joey says. Well, I'll admit, it's become quite the hangout spot down here. Almost like it's a own little district. But there's definitely some unsavory stuff going on too. Smoking, gambling, loud parties, you name it. At all hours of the night sometimes. For a place that's all about getting some shut-eye, <laughs> there sure is a lot of noise around here. Okay. <laughs> Both parties, Scott, you have my attention. Okay. Charge station there. She's going now. See what's up here. Beds station. This is above that door that was freaking out. More beds. Seizure warning. Place to hide. I don't know. Okay, pass through artist rest to the elevators. I just want to look around. 
Art exchange. I think I'm good on like parts and stuff. Right? Oh, there's the thing right here. Put the crane keys in the lost and found office. Some dope keeps leaving them out once he done. So I need to go down to the lost and found. And grab some keys. Do I have this set right. Lost and found. Relax. Lost and found. Apparently I need the crane for something flow. Somebody's guiding me here. Hoist key. Sauna, something scratched out, and master key. Master key. Ooh, another blueprint. Another upgrade with another blueprint. I need 10 of those things? Dear God. Gent pipe can be temporarily charged for a heavy impact. All right. So I need more toolkits, though. That's a lot of toolkits. Save. I'm pretty sure it auto saved with the thing. Really? Oh shit. I 100% forgot that there are people around here. Destroy the demon myself. 
Okay, where do, what do I need to do next? I moved that, right? Oh shit. I already did Lost and Found. Do I need to move that for some reason? Okay, dude, dude can fuck off. Where's the elevator that I'm looking for? Does it say in the pause menu? Pass through artist rest to the elevators. Okay, where are the elevators? Oh shit. There's exit up there. Oh, there's the elevator. Our purpose. What is it? What is it? Where did oh. everyone go? Why don't they answer? Is there another dude over here somewhere? Okay, I think I could go up here without getting detected. in here oh yes come on I need, I need that toolkit thank you go no, bitch god I hate that I had mentioned on Twitter that I liked that new character but now I don't Okay, did we do did we go do that thing? That's a hide. That's a search. Yeah, we did this thing. What did that accomplish? Or did we do this? We didn't. Oh yeah, that's right. We died from Bendy after doing this. Go away. Goodbye. Yeah, not gonna deal with that, dude. Too bad he doesn't, like, walk by or something. That'd be cool. Okay. You fucking bitch. God, I'm tired of that. Sauna entrances over here. So wait, was that supposed to be upper beds? Cause that's fucked. Shit. Just gonna sneak by you, ma'am.
Our sweat cannot be cleaned. We don't live forever. When we're killed or finally pulled apart, our diseased souls return to the ink to be reborn. An unending cycle of torment. But sometimes something even worse can happen. A soul can slip from the ink completely. It gets caught between worlds, unable to die or return. They wail at night, drifting in shadow. Phantoms of the machine. The ghosts. Why don't they answer? Okay. Fuck out of the way, dude. Sure. Was that useful? Probably not. Why is there a bat? There we go. Oh, hey, I need that. Another illusion of living book. More coins. Okay. And we did that. Now, where's another place we need to go? I'll get you. Now can I do the same thing up to that? Yep. Alright. That, that was the answer. I have to wait for that to build up again. It's behind me. There's a wheel here. Then into here. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to save the game. <laughs> oh, look. Another tape. to deal with ghosts. Elevator up. Lovely. Hi. Are you going to get up and attack me? Or are you downed? Oh. Not boards I can break. That... Oh, hi. Chapter 3, The Eternal Machine. Alright, we have a battery. I need to charge it. Boop. I have a lot of batteries, so I don't know why it just gave me one there. Crank that shit up. Oh, that's so cool. That's not on the other side of this. Yeah, I definitely want to get to my hacking, because I want to see what's, like, inside some of those things. Like, there's obviously something up there to see. This world looks so much more lived in. More... Uh, machine must endure. We've seen that so many times. Like, not that specific one, but, like, whole bunch. Whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, the barrels all have gent on the bottom of them now. Okay. Elevator up. 
Oh, fuck. The pit? We're in and out like rats, scurrying all over the place. People shoving and pushing. The way this elevator system is set up, you'd think we'd had only 10 employees working here. At any time of the day, this hall is full of people waiting to go up. Right around quitting time, you're going to have to grab a magazine and wait your turn. It just goes to show that Joey Drew Studios really did grow too much too fast. But I hear, but I hear there's more than one way to escape that this rat's nest. This rat's maze. I'm going to do some asking around. Let's endoyle. Okay. Animation Alley. We've been there, right? Cool bit. Cool toolkit. Bring other things over here to grab. Buy a three. Just a pencil and a dream, huh? I hear some kind of monsters. That's a card exchange. I can get one more of these, but I don't have a whole bunch of... I haven't seen a whole bunch of those uh, safe and sound boxes. They're basically just loot boxes anyways. I'm fine, I have four of them now. It's a hiding box. That one's... Uh... Didn't really need food, but I used it anyways. Alright, what do we got here? Another locked door. So do I need to go charge it again? That's a really cool effect. I like it. Okay, recharged. Yeah, the the new way that Bendy is set up to always be lurking is nice uh, because you have to be aware of where your hiding spots are at all times. You have to like look around the area and see if there's any hiding spots right away one here. Oh no. Something to search. Nothing here. Oh, there's a safe and sound box in there. Thanks. That's changed from the other side. So I'm guessing I come back here at some point. But my closest hiding spot's way over there. Or unless there's one in here. Thank you. Search, search, search. Nope, just three more boxes. I'm wondering if there's something special if you get all those Illusion of Living books. There's a lot of stuff in here. Nice. Now I have enough to upgrade it next time I see an upgrade station. I hear something big in there. I don't like it. And this lock is on the other side, so that'll be later on. Where do I need to go? Oh, I see. Go 
down there. But let me open this first. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot there's a new one. Goodbye. That was scary. <laughs> Damn, dude. Alright, that was... Just sitting there munching on him. Yeah, I... I totally forgot that there was that box right there. I could have just gone in there. Oh. You closed it. Damn. I guess I'm gonna have to go through a wall. We live in the ruins of the past, forever lost in the shadows of those who came before us. Blended souls to make something new. Birthed from a machine into a world we cannot own. But the ink even lives in us all. A voice that calls us to a purpose. We know it's a lie, but his intoxicating pull is strong. He is calling. Always calling. Can you not hear him? Uh, Medine, thank you for the resub for 33 months. How you doing tonight? So do I sneak through there? Whack. Search. Yay, food. Go through here? Nope. Oh, shit. Got stuck for a second. There's nowhere else to go. Nope, not here. Poor Boris. Surface elevator. Going up. Please don't come up. I, like, I have to get in here and do the thing, so like... Great excuse to change maps. Okay. Oh shit. What the fuck? At least it didn't use getting knocked out as a excuse to transition chapters like it previously had. Oh, they're like eggs. Oh, what the fuck?
god, there's so many of them. Okay, hate spiders, man. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm missing one. There it is. Behind the big fucker. Oh, scared the fuck out of me. Come on. Was that chant? Oh, I feel it, Audrey. God damn. Fast recharge. Get the hell out of here. Fear shows, shows our true nature. Yeah, sure. Let's back this way. Uh, nothing? Ooh, a donut. Okay. Oh, look, another. I seriously need to get an upgrade station. Oh, hi, Bendy. Can we try this again? The hell just happened? Emergency shaft R. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to deal with fucking spiders now. You can either. There we go. Thanks, I hate it. She said, don't move. <gasps> Take the 
battery. Must have gone down. But they have to do that old jump scare. I'm gonna be sneaky. <gasps> no way! No fucking way! I believe there's something special in all of us. Especially you, Audrey. Who are you? Don't you know me? Take a good look. Aren't you? Joey Drew? In the flesh. Well, so to speak. Come on up. Let's take a little walk. There's something I want to show you. No. No, this has to be a trick. This has to be the ink tricking me. This has to be some kind of psychological horror. No fucking way, dude. It's really you. What's up? There you go. Follow me. But mind your step. This old place is full of surprises. I should know. I've worked here a long time. This old place is full of death. Joey, please. Joey, what is this place? The studio? These monsters? Am I dreaming? It's a psycho, Audrey. An ink-stained nightmare, forever stuck on repeat. With just a pencil and a dream, and with a little help from the Jet Corporation, it came into being. From what I gather, Stuck on it repeat. exists in parallel with the outside world, but completely removed from the march of time. And like a record played over and over again, it's begun to crumble, wear down. This studio is a monument to choosing the wrong road. Now whether it was built for revenge or regret, I don't know. That's my riddle to solve. Okay, so how do we get out of this? The truth is, Audrey, someone out there is messing with what's in here. Bad Wilson. things have begun to emerge from the puddles. Wicked creatures that never came from my pen. The worst ones call themselves keepers. Dangerous, deadly folks. They've taken over the old jet workshop just beyond the sewers. Trying to bring what they call order to this world. Freezing the cycle in place. Changing the script. Whatever answers you're looking for, you'll find them there. So it's breaking the cycle is the thing. Every great story begins in mystery, although things may be dark at the start. Truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal, Joey Drew. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm taking all your shit. Take all of your shit. Give me some food. Give me that battery. Alright. That was supposed to be Bendy Land. I like that they didn't make things descript like the original. Oh, this is like the original board in uh, Joey's apartment. It, it's like a badly drawn copy of the whiteboard in Joey's apartment. That's crazy. <sighs> Look, above all, never forget. You're here for a reason, Audrey. There's always a reason, even when you can't understand it. You made this world. Why can't you fix it? Because I'm not the man. I'm just... A memory. No fucking way. Uh, that was creepy. Just a pencil in a dream. Joey Drew, 1901 to 1971. That was creepy. Anything behind it? Okay. Don't ever lose hope. When in doubt, 
The answer you seek is usually nearby. We all have dreams, ghosts in our past. Those ghosts can give us the path forward. Your best pal. Fuck, man. I didn't expect it to get heavy. Alright, Audrey. Big girl panties. Go. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Stop running. You're fine. So is it him that's, like, turning into other helpful things? Lord Amok rules? Ah, uh, no thanks. I don't... Yay, upgrade station. All right. High impact mod. So it does more damage. Use shock pipe to launch a devastating series of heavy attacks against your foes, but be warned it only lasts a short time. Use tab to activate when your jump pipe is charged up. So I don't have any more schematics. But I can charge it up. Oh, it doesn't need more charging, apparently. So I don't go back down, do I? Because that's the way I came in, right? No, it's not. Wait, what? Makes no sense. I don't need health right now. What's back here? Battery refill. Have anywhere to hide. Really? There was nowhere to hide there. That was that was unfair. There was nowhere to hide there. Whatever. Load the autosave. It must be... It Autosave should be right after Joey Drew anyways. <sighs> okay, fine. You've seen that. Nothing else in here. Hey, buddy. get this tape. Listen to it on our way down. We'll listen to it again when we're safe. Conway is the... Oh, this is a hiding spot. Got it. So what was the point of coming down here?
unsafe area, stay dead. Oh, here's a hiding spot. So, a muck? Is that guy? Not the sp spider that I just defeated, is it? Pretty sure I've missed one of those Joey Drew. Oh, hi. Thanks, I hate it. The Illusion of Living books. Hey, where am I supposed to go? Can't go that way. But there's a tape in there. I guess we'll go to... What do I see? Oh, that's just ink. We'll go to door number one. What's in here? Sousaphone. Oh, there's a place to hide there. Security lock. Place to hide there. So there was no point in coming in here. Okay. I don't think I could do it from that ledge either, can I? No. Alright, well, let's go to the danger. don't get what I'm supposed to do here. Objective. Nothing. <gasps> Secrets. You gotta follow your inspirations when you're a musician. Stick to what you Jack know fans. But when they built the new studio buildings, they all but filled in my office down in the old sewers. Turns out, I've gotten so accustomed to working in those disgusting conditions that now if my office doesn't stink, the lyrics I write do. So when Jen started digging their massive utility shaft between their place and ours, I knew it'd be just the right spot for me to move in. Now I've got a song in my heart and a creative stench up my uh, nose. Okay. Alright, that opened that. Oh, but Bendy heard it. So I'm gonna have to hide somewhere. Here soon. I couldn't remember where the fucking hiding spots were. Seriously? And this is on the easiest mode. <sighs> Load autosave. Where did it throw me? Of course.
Nice. And we're gonna run into somebody new here. I think. There's another upgrade. Search. Ooh, it's brighter now. Permanently upgrade your abilities cooldown. Permanently upgrade your maximum stamina. Is running away... Running away is more important than health. Let's do that. Okay. Well, there's nowhere to hide here, so if Bendy shows up, I'm kind of fucked. Oh, there is a hiding spot right there. Is there another one right here? Or is that a search? It's a hide. So... How do I get across to there is the next question. Lord of Muck rules. Do I want to know? another hiding spot there. I'm fully charged so I could go through that, but let's check these first. I still have yet to find the book here. They designed this big tunnel to link their new gent building to Joey Drew Studios. They want to keep their labor and parts flowing between them. I don't think they fully knew what they was actually creating here. When workers were heading through the shaft, you got to drain the center duct into the overflow. When they're done, you flood it again. Any schmuck can do it, even if they're not an engineer. But the main thing is you got to make sure all the duct hatches are open. Once they're open, the overflow can drain back and forth between the two ducts. Simple stuff, but a bit complicated when you're not when you're working by yourself. Once you're done, there's a hide. So I'm guessing that's my next task, is find all the valves. Make sure all the valves are open. Security override. Save. <laughs> oh, you're going to get tired of me saving all the time. Okay. I wish I could see clearer out of the ventilation hole there. Okay, we did that. Overflow. So if I drain this, is there going to be some fuckery going on? Oh, there's something down there. Take the stairs down.
two, three. Weird. Okay. So I opened that. Do I flood it again? Do I hit this button again? So do I go from here and zip over there? Oh. Nope. Or do I go from this ledge here and zip over there? know what's opening. Is it... No? What opened? this again ah yes I do it again and now I can walk through there lovely should have grabbed some food while I was at it I don't know who Lord Amuck is. Within our isolated walls, Lord Amuck reigns. The drips and drops of the leaking world above cannot stop his rule. Those who oppose Amuck's hand have their bodies crushed and fed to the narrow pipes that lead below into forgotten sewers under our feet. Those tunnels are even deeper, even darker than this one. The only suffering down there. We should... Anyone defeat Lord Amuck, cast him down. Our small kingdom will belong to, to the Conqueror. This is the secret of Amuck's immortality. Pass on the throne, pass on the name. Okay, I don't want to know who the fuck Amuck is. There's something else in here I'm supposed to do? It says exit. Oh.
It's a respawn point. Okay, thanks. Now what? Oh, that side. Saving. <laughs> uh, yep, we'll do that. Oh, hi. Behold, the stranger is upon us. Kill her. Kill her now. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Well, that was easy. I, uh... I guess I'm the new Amok. Okay. Weird, man. Hi. Hail a monk. Cool. Uh, I guess everybody knows that I'm the leader now. My God, so much money. Excuse me, I'm taking all your shit. Dear God, so much stuff. Oh my God. Is this a side quest? More money. Uh, I don't see anything else to do here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Now that you guys aren't going to kill me. I guarantee there's still some others that are going to kill me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, sorry to just barge in and, you know, take over, but... Sure. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Well, I'm going this way. Something I like. see you mild as the truth unfolds. You will accept your fate. I want to do everything I can Before to not, I but you know. Is Allison going to be here? Oh. Street exit. That is locked. All trains, watch your step. A city built on broken dreams? What in the world? How big is this place? Hi, buddy. Oh, it's you. Where did you come from? Look, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. 
And I really don't think you want to hurt me either, right? God, he's so cute. Good. Let's be friends then, okay? What do you say? You and me? Awesome. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the old gent building. What's wrong? Is it a bad place? It's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll go one step at a time. Just you and me. I will guard Let's him with my life. Find. God, he's so cute. Locate the gent building. Chapter 4, Factory of Horrors. Alright, buddy. We're gonna get out of here. Street exit. So they built a whole ass city. Little heck. On time. Hey, bud. F666 Death Lake. Derailed. Track 13. <laughs> Jeez. Toon Garden, New Flesh. Studio East, Stoneshire. Tasty Eats. I don't need food right now. Do I talk to you? Alright, buddy. Come on. Ah. This is that uh, scene from the trailer again. This is a song. We've heard in many places. Oh, nice Model T. This old town really has changed ever since that big gin building went up. Yesterday, Kitty Thompson. Took a trip over the farmer's market, and they had the whole dang street ripped up. It was like a large hole that just plain swallowed the side. The voice sounds familiar. Cartoon Kitty? Oh lord. Alright. Are there any doors I can open? Hey buddy. No. Coffee and a donut. 15 cents. Tower Cafe. Yoldy Farmer's Market. Grand Chops. That must be the sound of cars going overhead. Old meat. I'll take that. <laughs> Live contents. For Betty. Oh, we saw... We saw Betty previously in a trailer. Good Tower Cafe. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, there's the gent building. Scan ID, huh? Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? Find an ID card. I like that I can break that. That's a Zelda reference. It looks like the pots from Zelda. Mm. Yeah. Search. Coins. Nothing there. A 
Nothing in here. Oh, hey. Nothing in here. Nope, Let's nothing in there. Up. I like that he tries to show you places to look. Future has arrived. I didn't know it would get here so soon. Some of the stuff that's coming out of Gent doesn't follow any sort of the rules of physics that I know. Hard to believe they started as a bricklaying company once upon a time. Nowadays we all have the modern conveniences and worse yet, the headaches. Take that ID card for machine. Take that ID card machine they've got at the door. You don't bring your ID, you you ain't getting to work. So I started putting my ID card on my nightstand in my room in the Downside Hotel. It's not the safest place, but at least I know where it is. Eugene Lloyd. Downside Hotel. On the nightstand. Looks like we found a clue. Pharmacy, grocery. Wash. Oh yeah? I'll just start my own place! Bitch. Downside Hotel. Do I go in here? The beef is people. Come on, give me. Come all the way this way. Do I get to absorb you? Give me you. Perfect. All right, looking for downside hotel. There it is. Cinema. Nice. Anything in the jet box? Absolutely. Didn't have to kill her. Got it. Okay, there's a box to hide in over there. Another... No? Okay. It's kind of creepy in here. Boris? Keep seeing boar stalls everywhere. It's making me... Nervous. Please do not litter. Dream supply. Yes, please. Check a registry for who's where, or hi. Okay, thanks. Can't go through things. None of these have real doorknobs. Oh, 
Oh. Duh. God, I'm dumb. Keepers see everything. You have a limited amount of time for those or something? Hey, Boris. There's the key card. Well, I'm gonna get attacked. Oh, hey. Gotten far. Don't do that. Wait. How... How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah, I see you have your father's never-quit go-getter spirit. Father? Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see, then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. He keeps saying that. Oh, Wait. shit. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, he can give me memories? Hopefully it's just a cutscene. I don't want to play a fucking... Oh. We know that sound. I'm here, I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. What the fuck? Over here. Holy shit. This won't take long. They put parts of the first game into this one? Wait a second. Holy crap. Is it? Is it please? Oh, it's just blacked out. That sounds like Henry's voice. story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes, but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. Oh no. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joey's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new. Something he had always wanted, but he could never have. A family. But not a cartoon one. Something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, kind, almost human. 
Oh no. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. Flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. No. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. So Remember she's literally a child of the machine. Leave me alone. <sighs> God, dude, that is fucked. It's not true. It can't be. <sighs> oh my god. Ah, oh, there it is. So uh, there's not some like secret counter going on that's counting how many of those uh books I've picked up, huh? I think I've done one in every chapter. Where'd he go? Bendy. Treason of the Cycle Breakers? Are you kidding me? Cycle breaking is a good thing, all right, bud. We're not down here. No, we're not. Bendy's just gonna randomly show up behind me. Oh, the cafe's open. Oh, you fucking bitch. God, I hate that. Is there anything hidden in here? Yes, there is. Don't mind if I do. You could have... You could have skipped this. Uh, permanently upgrade your ability. Yeah, we're gonna do one each. Goddamn. Yeah, you, you legitimately could have just missed that. All right, into the gent building. Where'd Bendy go? We are the keepers. Cool. Hey, buddy. I don't know what you expect me to do. Oh shit! No fucking way! <laughs> no! 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 no. That ain't right. Hmm, all right. I don't like to ask questions. 
I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spend as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut. Is that about Daco? Fish, you know? So when I saw this year out of a newspaper that reads, Gent Corporation looking for no. Is that James pays free fifty a week. Super horror, bro? It's one of those. With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But it turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before. But here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies, and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street. Paid to die. 350 a week. Saving the game. <laughs> <laughs> Condemned. Oh no, that's not ink. Oh fuck, dude. That's too light to be ink. That has to be blood. One of these bodies are going to pop up. Say right. Can't upgrade. Five, two, three. This looks like a a death room. Ah, so that's written by them. Where did you come from? Who made you? Of course. Can you take me to him? He wanted me to find him. I knew what I must do. Auto save. Thank you. Oh, those are. Too 
Just pencil in a dream, apparently. Okay, so there's no objective. I just need to keep an eye out for those damn things. And not get caught, of course. There's a thing to hide over here. But Bendy can't get in here because of the force field thing, correct? Oh, fuck me. So are they kind of like Normans? Will it go away eventually, or do I need to fight it? It let me see through for just a second. Where's it going? I think I need to go up the stairs? Ah, you cannot fight those. Well, now I'm at the top of the stairs. That's lovely. So maybe if I... Ah, that only lasts a few seconds. Okay. I wonder if I could sneak up behind it and take it like I do the others. Or if that's your only option is sneakies. So it turns around there. When it gets to just past the bottom of the stairs, I'm going to go down and try and do the sneak attack. They are really slow. Please. Sneak attack. Shit. Nope. There is no sneak attack on those. Got it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's there's no way. You just have to avoid them. While you're going that way, I am going to refill this again. Okay, you go far that way.
So you legitimately cannot fight these. I'm not even going to bother with the gent thing there. I'm just going to go straight to it. And hopefully it doesn't turn around and see me. this where I was supposed to go? I think so. I'm gonna save right here. Uh, down to safe slot 10. Thank you. Okay, so Wilson created the keepers. To keep Bendy at bay. Heard that open. Hopefully it doesn't see me. I'd search. Still no book. Oh, it's probably going to come this way, huh? Now that this is open. Is she's Cantina? Is there one in here? Oh, there is. Shit. Where are you going, buddy? I'm gonna dip into the cantina here. Oh, I could use... definitely use some food. Fuck me. I'll come in here. Okay, that got me back to full health. Oh my god, I can do so many of those. Okay. Oh lord, okay. The slugs are everywhere. those things. Alright, there's a vent here. But anywhere else I was supposed to go. Or did I immediately find the path forward? So this is a loop just to get away from that thing. And there is no fighting it.
It is. It's kind of like Norman projectionist. You just stay out of its, stay crouched and stay out of its uh, line of sight, and you're fine. Oh, there's a ladder here. Before it turns around. Hello? Anything useful? Sounds like a Dalek. Whoa! God, I hate you. I originally had said I really like that character. I take that back. You're searching in a figure eight pattern, and I need to make it past this before you do. Okay, you're gone. So am I. Unsafe area, don't pass. Well, I'm going. Condemned? I'm fine with condemned. I can deal with that. I'm going through. Cycle breakers. I'm already charged up. Why would this be here? This is a trap. This is legitimately a fucking trap. That's where the ghosts live. Just beyond that door. The keeper's prison. The pit. No one ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Ah, uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game. Oh, I love to play games. I like oh, hide and Lord. seek best. Find me, and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away <sighs> while I hide, and no peeking. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to do this. <laughs> seek out Heidi. Let me guess. I have to go through all of this with those fucking keepers to find you. God damn it. They're like a sentinel from the Matrix. Mixed with Norman. So could she be anywhere or just in specific areas? How is it so far? Fucking amazing. I love this game. Is so so much deeper than the original game. So much deeper. So much more story. Bigger twists. It's amazing. Oh, I see something up there. How the fuck do I get up there? 
Oh, I know how I get up there. I didn't find the girl, though, so... I know how to get out on top of that other thing, though. Secrets. Okay, alright. Okay, just... Okay, going that way, I'm gonna go this way. to there. I hear her. Okay. Did you fucking... God damn, I hate that. I... Yeah, I went all the way back to the beginning. Can you open that door for me? Oh, sure. Another ability? What's behind is now ahead. Interact with linker pipes to fast travel between two specific locations. Dark places you've already been may hold new secrets. Oh. So if I hit the same one again... Ah! Okay, so if I hit this one again... No? Yes. It takes me back to the same one. Right? Right? Yes. Okay. Would you motherfucker? God, I hate that. Nope. Side mission? There's also secrets. The keepers have taken my friend, locked away like some animal, just because he's big and strong. But they don't need to fear him, no, they just make sure to feed him on time. Big Steve won't ever hurt a fly. He loves the food from the Little Devil Lounge best, only if someone can take that long road back through the sewers, climb up the elevator shaft to seek out his favorite thumping delicacy, and see how harmless he really is. I don't want to... Oh, hey. More upgrades. Woo. Get this first.
So obviously ha he hasn't stayed in that form. So what's making him, what's forcing him out? You say you fixed him, why isn't he fixing? Um, let's do... Shit. Health. Door. Goes nowhere. Okay, at least I went and got that secret. Uh-oh. Is that Big Steve? Hey, buddy. Do I have to fight you? Or what? Can I... Can I just scooch by you? There's something. Oh, there's something you want. Oh yeah, it's the those snacks. That seems like a side quest kind of thing. Can I hop over to that? Yes. Who would have ever dreamed in the declining years of my life I have someone more precious to me than any piece of art I could make. For all the evil that's come from me, this is something finally good. When she laughs and smiles, it fills my heart with so much that it overflows. We play and talk as we both learn from each other. There's not much time so every moment has to count. Unlike my versions that came before her, the ones who call me her uncle, oh, I'm proud to have her call me dad because she's truly is my daughter. That's creepy. That is, that is disturbing on all counts. There's gotta be other places that we can sneak to then I haven't been thinking vertically like can I get on top of those and go somewhere else I don't know time to try oh I think I was supposed to get here then go over there from across that and not you know do that thing uh well okay we're gonna Cycle breakers. Deep six. Really? Oh, am I gonna pass out? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, that was disturbing. Subject 418 is locked up. Are there things in here to worry about? Hey. I don't need food at the moment. Oh, hi, Bertram. Oh, my God. You okay, buddy? I Are you actually you are you're looking at me. Bertram, buddy. What did they do? Yeah, sorry Henry kind of had to kick your ass. 
There's nothing here. There's more bodies. Oh, there's Norman's head. Fairly sure that's supposed to be Norman. 414. <gasps> 414! 41. Okay, so those of you who don't know, they teased 414 is a significant number. Um, there was previously a. Uh, one of the teasers was released on uh, April 14th. Uh, one of the papers that they released as the archives on their website is dated April 14th. Um, and throughout the dev development of the previous game, they were hinting at 414 being a big thing. So maybe they actually did something with that. Um, excuse me. Sir? Can you help me? Must be real lost to be asking me for help. Henry! I'm just looking for answers about the keepers, Wilson, the cycle, anything. Could Subject happen. 414 was Henry. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? I recognize that Honestly, name anywhere. I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? The keepers think you're a threat to the plans. They lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. <laughs> Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, Everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do that? Oh. Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his. But even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, he will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, the end. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Damn. Pit is up there. Do I have a thing after me now? play his own fucking guitar anymore. Or banjo. Contraband. I remember. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Everything's coming back. Security lock. It's the pit. Uh, I do need some health. There's probably going to be something... No? Well, Audrey Neighbor came for me. I don't need battery refill. Yeah, 
still no. I don't, did we find the book in chapter four? I want to save. Hang on. <laughs> uh, we're back to one. That's right. Oh, those, those reels. So Wilson's the one pulling the strings. <laughs> Ugh, you fucking bitch. Oh, God, that hurts. Like, my whole grundle just clinches whenever she shows up. There's always hope, huh? I don't think so. What's in the pit? Behind you. Wilson now a savior comes at last on the train Wilson rest yourself Audrey you're still weak the keepers can be relentless to strangers but there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you you're safe now you sure me. you brought me here turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists, it breathes, it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pin, the foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it, anything we create in here, can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled, made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stained? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. What? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Okay. Ah, Chapter 5, The Dark Revival. Do I go talk with you? You said this was our stop, so... Get my pipe. No, whoop your ass. Signal towers are nearby. Abilities are disabled. Oh. So, my abilities are disabled. Weird.
Ah, hello. Old Track 77 is quite a place these days. Ever since the terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had, had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but never stopped to let one off. Just kept going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. So if I wait here long enough, will I see it? What are you doing? I don't want to know. I'm going to break those beforehand because, you know, that's just a thing. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has become a you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just so who do we believe? Stop. Won't take but a moment. Wilson's... Oh, he's not coming with us, huh? Checkpoint. Weapons are not allowed to be on this point. Please place all weapons in the can contained ink on the holding desk to the right. The subject will stand in the designated location! Lethal object detected! The subject will submit all weapons for further screening! Disarm Sure. Oh, look, the Tommy gun. Remain still for examination. The subject is cleared for entry. All right, Dalek. Now I get to pick it back up. How did you get here? Well, to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Ah. They can't use any powers here. Nice painting, dickwad. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You... Never Creep. actually killed the ink demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that. Soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Nope, I'm gonna dawdle. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at stuff. I really love your character design. 
That's awesome. Uh, well, anyway, fine. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. Okay. The ink demon got in there a while ago. And ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only Is that a mask? These days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. It looks like a regular so, mind your distance, face and just fine. with a mask on it. Hang on. Checking doors. Nope. Library. It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. Yeah, that legitimately Almost just looks like a mask a on a regular... Mad. Yeah, I get it. Alright, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. <laughs> but this room... Oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Okay, bye. Autosave. Okay. The mug and the maiden. Okay. You're just gonna stand there watching. Okay. For sleeping draft. Pinch of salt. Cocoa powder, chamomile, soybeans, Gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink it exactly three sips of water. Fuck is Gilson. You okay. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you... very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But... Wilson will keep trying. And... do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow sure. the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Okay. Gilson. What's a Gilson? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, that character model, though. Oh, <laughs> really? I mean, you don't have to potty. You're, you're, you're an ink creature. There's no point. Yeah. Ah, there's Mike's toilet. <laughs> Anything in here? No. Is 
sit here. Well, there's obviously supposed to be something there. Mug and the Maiden, Volume 1, by Sir Wilton Moore. Oh no. How many pages is this? Oh, dear God, that is long. Do I read the whole thing? Because this is going to take like a solid 20 minutes. I'm actually going to save this and read it as its own video. Because dear God, this is really long. I'm going to, yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to save this and read it as its own video. Because damn. Alright, I need to find a Gilson. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. Ah. <laughs> it's book passed. Nice. Um, so why am I moving this? Oh, hello. Theory about spaces. Uh, spatial displacement of unknown elements. Let's imagine for a long wire stretch between two point points in known time. We'll call this length of time euphonic base. From here we can dispel all needs of societal normalcy and all typical understood junctions of the world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be space around this wire that is not the wire itself. The space, the Cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires running in as many directions as we can perceive using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate, alternate timescapes, but command them with a larger understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world onto another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements become the new euphonic base. Well, that didn't tell me anything. It told me plenty. Jeb's fish guide. The Gilson fish. This is one strange little fish that's pretty hard to come by. Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore the most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch up this little guy, a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sheet music. So crank up the tunes, and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush the, crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful soothing drink. So I'm looking for a, f a fish. Next page, bacon soup. Chocolate bacon soup, oh no. Fish? There's yeah. There's gotta be one here somewhere. Yep. I had already found him, so... 
So move this as close to the fish as possible. As close as fish as possible. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Gotcha. Gimme. You. you can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, hello. I, uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Okay. <laughs> Harold. Return to your bedroom. All right. She moved him in here. Now, just three sips of water. One. Two. Something terrible is going to happen, huh? Three. Yep. Hi, Susie. Great. Huh. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory of an angel. Angel? <laughs> As angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A sent from above. Impend in perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chin. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. No thanks. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll... But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Nah, I'm good. How about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Oh no. Riddles? <gasps> what a wonderful idea! No. Hmm. All right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle. Oh, sure. And return to your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Sure. Let's begin. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. <laughs> I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The pompous fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too dead. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. 
After all, they went to school together. Okay, so it is a riddle. It's just an order riddle. So what about up here? Oh. I can't walk off, huh? Damn. Is there anything else here? Nope, it's solved the riddle. I don't have anything to, to write. I had a pen here. Where'd my where'd my pen go? I had a pen. Not that pen. There it is. All right, so we have the fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Fox, rabbit. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. Bird. Bear. The puppet's fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. No left. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. No rabbit. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. No bird. Wait, no. The bird won't have anything no to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Not next to fox. Bear is not next to fox. My friend, the bear. Always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Always next to bird. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The rabbit. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. No bird, but next to bear. So that means. All right, I think I have all the clues. Let's go upstairs and figure it out. Okay, so the fox is never on the left. Right. Fox is never on the left and not next to rabbit. Rabbit, not next to bird, but is next to bear. So if I put fox on this side, fox is next to bird. bear rabbit so here rabbit is not next to bird but is next to bear bear is not next to fox 
and is next to Bird. Bird is not next to Rabbit and is next to Fox. And Fox is on the right, not the left, and not next to Rabbit. I'm going to call it. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> ha! Nice. Puzzled my way out of that bitch. And save. Okay. my I have my powers back because the thing is broken or do I Where the fuck did she go oh, there's no reason to hide There's nothing up there. Oh, this way. down. Ah, that's what. Now I have my powers back. That also means Bindi can come in. Oh shit. She done lost her fucking marbles. Yeah. 
You have a fucking gun. Tell you. Okay, I need to go up there then. <laughs> I can do this all day. Sure you can. Yeet. Those lovely eyes oh. in the star. She had to reload. Stop hiding. Start dying. Fuck you. I'm done. Nah, I'm out of here. Bye. Gotcha. Oh shit. I get there. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> That's it. Stop hiding. Start dying. So that switched to that. I know you're out there. Crazy lady. I don't wanna go. Oh. Oh, that fell. So I could go from Where did you there up, go? and then over. Maybe. I need to get there. Where do you think you're going? I don't fucking know. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I need to recharge this. Shit. I need to recharge this, which is downstairs. And then come back up here. Banish Alice Angel. Oh, you're out there. So how do I do that? Oh, I see. No idea what's coming. You have no idea what my powers are. You have no fucking clue. Gimme you.
is is Allison going to do it again? Yep. This <laughs> is all that coming. <laughs> We keep meeting this way. It's our face. Beautiful. Always were. Okay, now can I banish her? She obviously has a scar on her chest from where she was Why stabbed the last time. So familiar. Are you all right, Audrey? Nope. Alice. Tom. I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms, at least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm going to call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Allison Pendle? Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson! What are you doing? I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true... You'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. Okay. You too, Allison. You've been missing literally the whole game. Can I please... Oh, you do take that. Can I please banish her? Like, legit. Pet. I'm going to pet you. Oh yes. The good boy. I get to pet the Boris. <laughs> Beautiful people run this world. You can have brains or talent. You might just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. Crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everything, everyone's weak spot. I was reborn with my perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Alice Angel. So Alice Angel was writing all of those particular notes. Interesting. Seriously? I can't. I can't. Really? That was dumb. Wait, what? Continually be stalking the place.
Where do I even need to go? I'm guessing down that hallway, but like... What the fuck? There's no quest marker or anything anywhere. I need to find. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, fuck off. What am I supposed to do? Is there somewhere up top I need to go? Hide here until he goes by and then sneak past. Really? I'm gonna try and do this. Oh, this opened. Duh. God, I'm a dumb. Is there another one? Probably. I don't know if you will read these notes, but I keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from y your mind. In this strange dark place, we can find a light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even a heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. We're not lost, we're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, formed from the same mold. We are like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and wisdom. Let your heart melt into happiness. Don't give up trying to reach you. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late, a friend. Okay, is there another one? I hear another one. Dream supply, please. One more. Oh, right. They said... He killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives. I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? So Sammy... over here. Oh, 
What are you doing? Just sitting there? Fuck. I forgot he was up there. Oh! Really? This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Fix the music box. Lovely. I was supposed to just come in here... Okay, now what am I looking for? Now do I move forward? Was there something back there I needed to get? See, this is frustrating, where it gives you literally no direction. I don't know what you're saying yep to. Ah. There. Got it. Cool. Just gonna yeet past you. Bye. Lovely. Okay, where's my next item? It didn't even give me a quest marker on the thing. Like, it didn't give me a quest marker on the music box itself. It should have. Okay, do I take this back down to the music box first? No, I obviously don't. And I'm out. There's two of them. Lovely. Oh, and it takes you all the way back here. Oh no, this is a new place. It just takes you to the nearest respawn, and there's two of them there. Lovely. Can we? Shit. Q. 
Okay, well... Are you gonna see me if I... Oh yeah. There's that guy there, and I see my marker. That's all the pieces for the music box. Now I have to go all the way back to the music box. I don't know what your path is, bud. Ooh, there's stuff here. Hang on. Shit! Yeah, you probably don't go far, do you? Nope. I'm gonna have to follow you out. Do I need to go disable that? Full charge jump pipe required. I didn't see a charging station in there. Was there a charging station in there? Fixed. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. You should just take a left to it, right? Oh, I need to charge my gent pipe and there's nowhere to fucking charge it to get past that. Where did I see a gem ch pipe charging station? Fuck. Oh, here. Duh. God. Did you fuck all the way off, sir? That guy's AI is broken. And we'll wait for you to get a little bit further away. God, that's such a pain in the ass.
I should have done that a long time ago. Okay, now I need to go up. Hopefully this dude's not standing here. Yep. Go all the way over there, do the thing for the... I watch a pain in the ass, man. Okay, they're back where they go. Do it again. I have to wait for them to turn the corner for me to go. Fuck off. Okay, what did that security lock get me? The door behind them? It did. Okay. One more time. You and your fucking grabby hands. Okay, did the thing. Hi, Betty. Sorry. I got attacked. There you are, thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? Sure. Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? Oh, We're no. running quite low in the kitchen. And I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. You don't need to do this, but it doesn't take long as it's one item. When you need to travel, take the train. Catch the subway, you need to travel between Wilson's Retreat and downtown. The next train is always on time. Uh, okay, so... Is it... Through here? But so not track 77. Yeah. 
pop by the shop. Get one thing. Grocery. No? What ingredients? Did I not get the list of ingredients? Hi. Was it this? Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. I remember seeing that earlier and I just didn't put two and two together. What? Why did it do that? Alright, train. I do need to get bed soon, but I want to finish the story, so. Side quest, woo. Pretty quick. There You're you are. a miracle worker. Oh, truly. Oh, I only wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, wait. I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. Um. What did you... Wait, what? I don't know which way downstairs is. North Wing? No, not North Wing. We just came from North Wing. South Wing. The downstairs? in the fountain. Oh. It's a cup. A memory. Okay. Laboratory. I'm guessing this is a final fight kind of thing. Oh, we're gonna save it right here. North Wing was the last one. Yes.
Ah, oh look, RGB lights. Interesting. It's... So, he's somehow piped some real world down here. That's cool. Ah, oh, there's like actual colored panels and stuff up there. That's cool. Nice. Okay. I guess we're going. Thank you for coming all this way. The Ink Demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. It's gonna Come, be me, isn't it? Let me show you my creation. Oh, Lord. Isn't he beautiful? Simple, but elegant. No. A treasure. Powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. I don't think it so. It could work, but it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right so, right. at last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. Uh -huh. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, uh, industrial sense. genius, business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the ink demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. No, not this time. Oof. Signals off, dude. Subject accepted. Oh, 
Oh, I can't power up anymore, huh? Question. Do I belong here? I see, I see, I see. We need to get him to attack here. Oh shit. Right here, buddy. Shit. Fuck. I'm supposed to do. I'm about to die though. I'm about to die though. Okay, try again. Oh, jeez. Oh, I have to do that whole thing again? Damn. Well, at least I understand what needs to be done now.
Still got me. And I'm gonna die. Still. And that's the end. With 1% health. <laughs> now he's controllerless, soulless. There's Bendy. He ripped my legs off. Hey, buddy. I never did find the end. power on him. Nice. So if I made different choices, is there a different ending, is the question. Oh. 
Oh, she's in there. What's happening to me? There's always a choice. I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet, gracious Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are wasted. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. Just a pencil and a dream. This isn't enough. You have to have. Taking control. I'm starting over. What? Do, do, do we get to? Is the end. Full beast bendy. Just a Watch me. Okay. Demon rises! Surrender yourself to the Lord of the Dark Puddles! It's 
is time to believe. Sammy. Got a fucking Wilhelm scream out of it. Sammy just got shot. And Allison shot him. This is insane, by the way. Hey, let's move. Dead end. Now what? Need some help? Henry, you came. Some battles are worth fighting. Nice. A million times. Come on. I found a projector up ahead. Run for it. This man is mad. And the cycle will kill Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. I was not expecting to play as Beast Bendy. So is the whole world kaput, or is it a, an, another loop? That's Joey's apartment, but it's now aged. My father once told me, just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Oh, that's weird. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Hey, buddy. Who can really say? That was insane. <laughs> that that was insane. That was crazy. That was amazing. Lauren Singer? Yes, ma'am. Nice. I love that twist of the Sean Kristen. Damn. Love his voice. Dave Rivas. Allie Murphy is Betty. Immediately is Henry Stein. Yep, expecting that. Tim Simmons. 
Mark Dodson as Nathan Arch. Wow. Matt Goals but best. <laughs> so that's all being driven by away by the gent corporation so that's going to be the end of this series uh, of the normal gameplay. The next rounds of gameplay are going to be hacking and fun stuff, but that's going to be the end of this series. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the series, leave a like, share it with a friend. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out my Benny and the Ink Machine series and the rest of this series is the, if this is the first you're seeing of Benny and the Dark Revival. Uh, I look forward to anything that the Meatly and their team comes up with for games or anything really. But that's it. I'll see you in the next one.